Hey people, Demon here, and today I am reviewing Transformers War of Cybertron uh, Trilogy. So this is going to be a three-part thing. The first part had six episodes, uh, about half an hour each or 25 minutes each, around there. And I, I gotta say, it was okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to do spoiler first real quick because uh, I don't want to spoil the whole thing. But spoiler first real quick. It was pretty good. The acting was pretty good. The animation was not the best but okay. The voice acting for the most part was uh, was good. Except for maybe like Optimus and uh, Megatron. They just didn't sound like themselves to me. Uh, at the very least they did not sound like themselves to me. But other than that. Pretty good voice acting. Some of the plot was okay. Some of the things that happened in there were kind of dumb. We'll discuss more about that in the, in the, in the actual thing. Uh, but yeah, all in all, it was pretty good. And I would say give it a watch if you're a Transformer fan. And if you're not, then don't, I guess. <laughs> uh, but pretty good nonetheless. Okay, now, spoiler section. Okay, so, spoilers. Uh, I want to talk about the bad first. Okay, so, first off, let's talk about the voice acting for Optimus and Megatron. So, they don't have the iconic voices of Optimus and Megatron from, like, I guess you could say from the movies and the older shows. They have, like, really cool voices. They sound really cool. And these ones sound okay, but they don't have, like, the best voices for them. It's just not... It just doesn't sound like them as much as it should, to my, in my personal opinion. Um, but they're still done okay. You know, they're still done, like, well. They just don't sound like them. Uh, another thing that I didn't like was how they kind of treat Optimus. They kind of treat him like a little bit of a punk. He basically got his ass beat by uh, Megatron in, like, the first episode. And he's supposed to be, like, this super strong leader. But he just got he just got beat up real bad. Just instantly, pretty much. Uh, so, that's that was kind of like, eh, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> that doesn't seem like Optimus to me. And plus... I don't know. He, he just didn't seem like Optimus. He just didn't seem like a strong leader. Because everybody was just like... Hey, Optimus, are you sure? He's just like, yeah, I'm sure. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You know, he didn't seem like Optimus. Optimus is like, is like we're going to do this and this and that's it. But this is just, it's like, we're going to do this and maybe this. And they're like, are you sure? He's like, pretty sure. <laughs> he seemed like, a, I don't know, a novice Optimus, a more inexperienced Optimus. I don't know. I just didn't like it very much. Uh, another one was that they ended up killing off some characters. But they tried to make it seem like, like we should care about it and stuff. But I didn't really end up caring about it because we didn't actually know those characters that well. And maybe they were running on nostalgia. Now, I'm not the biggest... Uh, Transformer fan, it came out, like, the original cartoon came out before I was even born, uh, or at least it came out, like, I think it came out, like, in the 80s or something, right? So it came out before I was even born, and I've only ever watched, like, a bit of it, and I've only ever watched a bit of the other, uh, Transformer properties, like, other cartoons and other movies. I've only ever watched, like, a slight bit of these things, so I'm not, like, the biggest like, Transformer fan. Uh, but I have watched a few things. Uh, so maybe they're going off of a nostalgia. Uh, when they killed off these characters that I had no idea who these characters were. I literally, I literally have, like, in memory, I have, like, three characters, I have, like, four characters memorized. That's Optimus, Bumblebee, uh, Megatron, and also Starscream. Because Starscream's, like, like, this little... A little bugger that's always trying to get in power and stuff. And a couple times I think he might have been a good guy a few times. Uh, 
but yeah, I haven't watched much Transformers. The one I watched the most was actually Transformers uh, Beast Wars or something when they went back when they went to Earth when it was like back millions of years ago and dinosaurs were still here and Optimus was like a gorilla. I used to love that show as a kid. That that was my Transformers when I used to watch it. Uh, but now I haven't watched it in a long time. So, some of these characters, I have no idea who they are. But they just kill them off. And they expect you to feel bad for it. Because it's supposed to be like this really like, oh, like heart-touching moment. But these characters have only been like in a few episodes. And only showed up like every once in a while for like five minutes each episode. And it's just like, oh, wow, that character I barely knew or cared about died. Wow, so sad. Uh... And the worst part about it is it's like is because they're trying to make you feel sad about it, right? They're like, Oh look, this character died off. But then they're like they're like, Oh, it died off and they do they they linger there for like five seconds and then they move on and they never bring it up again in the episode. It's kinda like, seriously? Seriously. <laughs> it's like five seconds, oh and then it's just like, Oh well, let's just move on. <laughs> Uh, because they never bring up any of these characters in the episode again. Um, so yeah, that's kind of lame. Uh, anything else that's kind of lame? Not really. Uh, things that are average, uh, I would say the animation, it's not like the worst animation I've ever seen, obviously, but it's not the best. It's, it's very average animation. It's, it's, it's an okay style. It would be good for a lot of shows, uh, but I don't know. Like it'd be, it's better. It's a better style for a show that actually is better and <laughs> doesn't rely on the animation as much. I would say. Uh, so yeah, the animation's okay. The fight scenes are okay. It's all just kind of average. Uh, voice acting again. Pretty good. Storyline. Also kind of average. Kind of predictable. Uh, kind of rushed too. A little bit as well. Like the storyline's like. Okay uh, Bumblebee's not a Transformer. Or, or a Decepticon. He goes to the. He goes to Optimus. He goes to like find stuff. He's like a scavenger. Um, he eventually meets the Transformers. One of the Transformers defect, then he dies, and then his knowledge goes to Bumblebee, then Bumblebee goes back to the Transformers, which literally makes no sense, because at first he's like, I'm totally against this, but now he's just like, no, I'm totally for this, because I have all this stuff in my head, uh, which I guess might make sense, because it might be influencing him, but it doesn't make sense at the same time, because I would say I would think he would resist it more, but whatever, I guess. At the end, they find the Allspark, which they shouldn't have found so easily, but whatever. Again. And then they leave on their spaceship, and it's ended on a cliffhanger, pretty much. And it's kind of dumb. It's kind of dumb. The, like, the story sounds okay, but they shouldn't have rushed it so far, so fast. Like, six episodes to get that much story in, that's a little bit of a rush job. Uh, and obviously they tried to put some backstory in. The backstory is that there was slaves, pretty much. They went against the old powers that be. They won. Then they basically split off and started the war against each other because one side, uh, Optimus' side, wants freedom for everybody. The other side, Megatron's side, wants to rule over everybody. And if he has to make slaves and... Uh, just rule with an iron fist and be pretty much just like, hey, we're on top, you're on the bottom. Uh, kind of like the old society, but worse because he's just ruling over everybody at this point. Because the old society had people that were in good and also had people that were pretty much slaves. But now the new society just has everybody underneath him. <laughs> uh, which is kind of... Uh, happens, I guess, and Starscream kind of makes it sound like Nazism, almost. It's pretty crazy. But, yeah, all in all, it was fair. It was fair. Um, 
I would say good things, <laughs> but uh, everything was kind of either average or bad. <laughs> There wasn't really much good things, in my personal opinion. Uh, average or bad. So I'd say it was fair. It's worth a watch if you're a Transformer fan. If you're not, you probably won't enjoy it. Uh, but you might. Who knows? I don't know. If you want to give it a watch, give the first episode or two a watch. And if you don't like it by then, you're probably not going to like it. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell notification. Best way to keep my channel. Link down below to my Twitter. And as always, my friends, stay sane. Peace. My baby, I love you so much. You're my baby. And you love to sleep in the bathtub. Because <laughs> you're a weirdo. Shadow, look. Look at here, buddy. Look over here. <laughs>